In the game of bodybuilding, bigger is always better. This notion has forced many aspiring bodybuilders to acquire massive biceps through intensive exercise and strict dieting. For others, it comes naturally to them and was nurtured from childhood. The weirdest part is that this physique is often associated with men, but more women have adopted and even taken it too far, from a genetically disadvantaged woman to one who wanted to lose weight because her peers laughed at her. Here are the 15 strongest women who took it too far. You surely don't want to miss the entry on number one. Number 15. Alicia Young If you know nothing about the bodybuilding industry, you probably are unaware of the importance of building your muscles. For women like Alicia Young, muscles are the most exciting thing she has. She is a professional bodybuilder who has admired the sport since childhood. Young followed in her father's footsteps and began training when she was 15. In 2014, the training paid off, and she won the National Physique Committee's USA Championships. Despite having an enviable career, she suffered discrimination as a teenager. Most people close to her felt she was awkward. Some told her to her face how weird she appeared, and others said it behind her. That didn't deter her, though. Her biceps are over 18 inches, and her quads are 28 inches. For context, she is 5 foot 3 inches. According to Healthline, the average woman's bicep is around 12.8 inches. For Young, bodybuilding is a demanding lifestyle she has chosen to adopt. Despite her commitment to her body, she was willing to put all that aside to have her daughter, Olivia. Most of her colleagues were shocked at how she put all that behind her to bear a child. She admitted that being a mum was a priority for her. The birth propelled her to do more for the bodybuilding world. She resumed her job back on the stage after her daughter clocked 10 months. When asked why she chose the career, she said life would be boring if we all looked the same. Number 14. Julia Vins Julia Vins is a social media influencer and female powerlifter. She rose to fame for her powerful and feminine appearance. Her stunts earned her the nickname Muscular Barbie. She's beautiful, yet massive in size. Julia was born in Kostene i Katrenberg Ingels in Russia in 1996. Growing up, she had no interest in bodybuilding. She studied music and never thought a day would come when she would be known for athletics. She discovered weightlifting because she wanted to lose weight and gain confidence. Subsequently, she started falling in love with it as it transformed her body. She started training professionally with no guidance. Soon after, she sought for a coach to help build her physique. She focused on powerlifting and developed the zeal to export her skills to the rest of the world. A few months later, she participated in competitions. She loved the experience, particularly the training, as the results showed in her appearance. From there, she gathered lots of global attention. Her first professional powerlifting competition was in 2014, when she appeared at the World Powerlifting Championship in Russia. She won it by a landslide. She also broke three world records, hitting a 180-kilogram squat, 165-kilogram deadlift, and a 105-kilogram bench press. She also competed in other competitions throughout Europe and within her country. Number 13. Christina Mendoza If your kid is physically energetic and loves sports, the best thing you can do for them is encourage them. Christina Mendoza's parents knew she loved sports, and they enrolled her in gymnastics classes when she was five. It was there she built her love for sporting activities. She also joined dance and cheerleading early in her life, but soon noted that her legs were too muscular, not allowing her to perform optimally. She felt genetically disadvantaged, and it discouraged her. When she left high school, she realized she was starting to gain weight and joined a gym to help her stay in shape. Working out was fun, and her body took a new twist. She got people asking if she wanted to get into a muscle or bodybuilding competition. At the time, she had no interest in it whatsoever. This spurred her to enter her first bodybuilding competition in 2012. After the outing, she was convinced it was what she wanted to do. She came second in the 2016 Diana Cadeau Classic and was thrilled at the early success. Despite this, she still got negative comments about how big her legs were. After coming third in the 2017 NPC in bodybuilding, she noted that she decided to join the competition two weeks before. She drew motivation from Alina Popa and Jake Wood and disregarded most of the negative comments she got. Christina is 5'5", and her contest is around 160 pounds. She believes she would be a world champion, as she has enough time to train and attend competitions. Number 12. Yolanda Hughes Yolanda Hughes was more active in the 1990s, but her memories remain evergreen. Her older fans still remember her impeccable size and appearance on stage. She was one of those few athletes to have won Miss Olympia, 
The competition was fierce during the heydays of Lenda Murray and Kim Chizevsky. Because the competitors were great, it took a lot of work for judges to give a verdict. Yolanda was born in 1963 in Tennessee to African-American parents. At an early age, she found love in gymnastics and began training. Besides sports, she excelled academically. She was among the few students who balanced her passion with her studies. Her favorite subjects were psychology and geography. After gymnastics, she loved track and field, where she mastered the 400 relays, 100 hurdles, and 100 meters. At the time, she was convinced she would become an athlete, as she competed at both state and national levels. She fell in love with extreme sports and competed from 1984 to 1999. She was a regular on the Olympia stage in the 1990s. She appeared in 23 competitions, and her best wins were NPC Orange County Classic in 1988, the World Amateurs in 1992, and Miss Olympia in 1997 and 98. She realized she couldn't improve her physique and accepted the fact. Instead, she focused on her competitors, as they were the primary problem. At 5'6 and weighing 145 pounds, she's undoubtedly a powerhouse. Her off-season weight was 164 pounds. She was known for her size and symmetry. Plus, she existed when it was difficult for talented women to appear on stage. Number 11. Yaksani Oriken Garcia Yaksani Oriken is a Venezuelan-American professional bodybuilder born on September 3, 1966. She's named the second-best female athlete bodybuilder in the world by the International Federation of Bodybuilding and Fitness. She's a coach and trains a handful of young, aspiring bodybuilders. She stands at 5'8 and is one of the tallest female bodybuilders today. She maintains an incredible weight of 160 to 170 pounds. When she's not competing, she weighs between 185 to 190 pounds. She is a regular face in the women's heavyweight class. She's been in the industry for over two decades, making her the most successful bodybuilder in Venezuela. Yaksani was born and raised in Cabimas Zulia State in Venezuela, where she was the youngest of nine siblings. She has been attracted to acting and modeling since she was a child. As she became older, her passion intensified, leading her to study theater arts and modeling at the Venezuelan Theater Academy. Bodybuilding started when she was 23 in 1989. Between 1991 and 1993, she participated in four shows as an amateur. 1993 was a game-changer for her after she clinched the overall women's title at the Ibero-American Championships. After this win, her title changed to a professional. She then moved to the U.S. to advance her career. She made history in 2005 by becoming the first Venezuelan-born bodybuilder to win the Miss Olympia title. She backed this win up by winning the 2012 IFBB Arnold Classics. She currently has five Miss International titles under her belt. Number 10. Iris Kyle was born in 1974 in Benton Harbor, Michigan. She received lots of athletic scholarship offers thanks to her love for sports. She became interested in bodybuilding when she moved to Orange County, California in 1994. There, she was surrounded by fit people with sculpted physiques. She was motivated and visited the gym regularly to get a similar body. After gaining experience there, she was hired by the facility to train others to get her kind of physique. In one of those training sessions, someone encouraged her to register for the Long Beach Muscle Classic. She won her first classic and earned a pro card at 23. She also won the overall title at the 1998 NPC USA Championship in Las Vegas. She was consistently in the top six in every IFBB pro bodybuilding competition. Her first professional win was in 2001 Miss Olympia. She won the heavyweight title, but the overall Olympia title fell to Juliet Bergman. In 2004, Irish won Miss International's overall heavyweight title. She beat the long-standing champion Linda Murray. In 2005, she skipped Miss International to defend her Olympia title. 2006 was her biggest year because she reclaimed her Miss International and Miss Olympia titles. She has seven Miss Olympia wins and seven Miss International wins, more than any female bodybuilder in the world. She crowned it all in 2013 when she won her ninth Miss Olympia to become the most successful bodybuilder of all time. Number 9. Christy Hawkins was born in Longview, Texas in 1980. She graduated from Texas A&M and earned a Bachelor of Science in Chemical Engineering. It was difficult for the energetic woman to combine powerlifting and bodybuilding since each had a different effect on symmetry. She noted that she was overweight as a teenager, and while trying to lose weight at all costs, she became anorexic. When it dawned on her that it was unhealthy, she decided to try working off the excess weight. 
She began with dance and cardio, but was unsatisfied with the result. But then, she discovered the gym and developed an interest in weight training. Weeks later, she began talking about powerlifting and competitive bodybuilding. Her body was quick to adapt to the exercise and training. While creating a balance between her life and career was initially challenging, she became used to it. In 2008, she won the NPC Nationals Heavyweight and Overall Championship. The win qualified her as an IFBB pro. She then went on to set several records, both as a bodybuilder and powerlifter. She also earned a PhD from Caltech at the peak of her career. At a point in her life, she admitted she could no longer give the same energy to her career as a scientist, a powerlifter, and a bodybuilder. However, she hopes to inspire male and female competitors so that they can become professionals and develop other talents. Number 8. Alina Popa Alina Popa is a Romanian-born professional female bodybuilder. She is ranked the second-best female bodybuilder in the IFBB Pro Women's Bodybuilding Ranking. She began competing in track and field at the age of 12 to lose weight, but at 19, she came across a gym in her hometown. She met a woman preparing for the National Junior Championships when she visited. It inspired her to start a training regimen. She consistently lifted weight for two years before a trainer encouraged her to train competitively. She entered her first competition in 2000, where she placed second. After reaching 125 pounds in 2003, she began competing in the heavyweight bracket and represented her country. By 2006, she relocated to Switzerland, where she received her IFBB Pro card. She competed and won her first Miss International in 2010 and her first Miss Olympia in 2011. Aside from the 2010 Miss International, every IFBB professional bodybuilding competition she attended placed her in the top six. She finished second behind Iris Kyle in the 2013 and 2014 Miss Olympia competitions. Unfortunately, she could not participate in the 2015 Wings of Strength Rising Phoenix World Championships due to injuries. Number 7. Donna Moore About a decade ago, no one knew Donna Moore because she was overweight and didn't want to be seen. Today, she's happier after making the best decision of her life. The single mother of two set a record at the Arnold Sports Festival in Ohio to cement her position as the world's strongest woman. She knew nothing about bodybuilding but joined for leisure when she embraced the bodybuilding sport. She is grateful that she took that bold step. While she's proud of her achievements, she is modest and keeps to herself often. She started building in 2011 when she went to her doctor to ask for tips to lose weight. She joined the gym at his advice and attended classes that helped her meet people and build her confidence. She proceeded to weightlifting through a bit of coaching. Due to her activities on social media, someone contacted her to ask if she would like to take part in a local strongwoman contest. She agreed and is now one of the best in the world. She admitted that although society didn't appreciate women that lifted weights, she was not discouraged. Her friends and family were supportive, so giving up was not an option. Her physique has not transformed far more than she expected. The highlight of her career was winning the World's Strongest Woman competition. Moore requires a two-and-a-half-hour round trip from her home in Catterick to prepare for outings. Even at that, she is forced to improvise as not all the equipment is easy to get a hold of. Number 6. Robin Coleman Robin Coleman can easily pass as the symbol of female bodybuilding globally. She's an American actress born in 1973. This outstanding bodybuilding champion ventured into the field thanks to her determination to maximize her strength. She is often mentioned as one of the most muscular women in the world. Her acting career exposed her to American gladiators and VIPs. These movies increased her curiosity and quest to diversify her talent. It was then that she split her passion into two. She would act and show the world she is a strong woman through bodybuilding. She was sure about her new path and knew she would balance it. In 2001, she competed in the inaugural World's Strongest Woman in Zambia, placing third. By 2006, she began competing in the Tournament of Champions in Anaheim. After one year and six months of intensive training, she competed in her first bodybuilding competition and placed first in the novice category and second in the open heavyweight division. She has also trained in martial arts, pro wrestling, and boxing. She has also trained a former World's Strongest Man competitor, Sammy the Toy Stewart, and Robert Sherman, a former bodybuilder. Number 5. Lisa Geisbrecht Who would have thought that Lisa Gillespie was not interested in the gym when she was younger? Her enthusiasm for bodybuilding was non-existent as a teenager. In fact, 
She hated gym class and preferred basketball. If she had three or four sports placed before her and was asked to choose one, bodybuilding would be the last on her mind. While she avoided the gym early in life, things changed. The personal trainer and mother of two travels across the world to participate in competitive sports like the Miss Olympia contest. This competition is the highest in the world for bodybuilding, and every bodybuilder dreams of going home with an award. While she began weightlifting after high school, she only considered it a career in her 30s. In 2004, she met a former bodybuilder at her gym in North Vancouver. She admired her muscles and thought about it for days. The memory of the sight didn't leave her until the idea of becoming like her was planted in her mind. A year later, she participated in her first show. Although she didn't have that much muscles, she won her category. Despite her wins, she still wished there were more opportunities for bodybuilding in Canada. She jokes about her daughters protecting her from intrusive people and those who stare at her all day due to her looks. They surely know their job. Number 4. Kim Chizevsky was born on April 23, 1968 in Illinois. She dominated the bodybuilding sport between 1996 to 1999. With these kinds of muscles she has, you wouldn't doubt her if she claims she is the most muscular bodybuilder of all time. As a young adult, she was a complete athlete. There was hardly a sport she didn't excel in, whether it was basketball, long jump, volleyball, gymnastics, dance, etc. She aced them. After graduating from high school, she proceeded to Southern Illinois University in Carbondale, where she studied legal and medical secretarial services. After three months of learning under Chad Nichols, she came second in the lightweight category at NPC Junior. She also saw significant progress as she weighed 121 pounds and was 5'8". Eight. eight months later, she debuted at the Miss International in Columbus, Ohio, and in 1993, she made her debut for Miss Olympia, where she emerged fifth. She is a mixture of symmetry, proportion, and muscle. After her 1999 Olympia victory, she retired, but this was short-lived. She returned in 2001 to the same competition, but ranked sixth. The following year, she moved into fourth place at the Southwest Pro Fitness Show in Dallas, after which she got pregnant in October. She is an example of a woman passionate about competition, not just for titles, but for fun. Number 3. Natalia Kuznetsova no bodybuilder on this list is an ordinary star. Natalia Kuznetsova is everything an upcoming bodybuilder wants to be. She boasts massive muscles that males and females can only wish they had. Her love for lifting weights began in childhood, and she maintained the zeal until adulthood. Natalia is also regarded as one of the heaviest professional female bodybuilders in the world. The 5-foot, 8-inch tall athlete once measured over 220 pounds during the offseason. She has a large following on social media, which is typical for muscular women worldwide. She once said that her social media following was one of her biggest achievements. You can guess why she has over a million followers on Instagram. These fans want to see her powerful muscles. Plus, she is a woman. Not many of them are blessed with such a gift. Unfortunately, her following is not all rosy. Many seize the opportunity to troll and mock her for her looks. Some say she should have channeled her energy to something else. Thankfully, she doesn't give a hoot about their opinions. She prefers to focus on her journey to becoming the most muscular woman in the world. Every other thing can wait. Number 2. Diana Cadeau The ever-stunning Diana Cadeau was born in Haiti in 1966. She relocated to Canada when she was seven, where she became a bodybuilding fan. She participated in amateur competitions until she became a professional. Her journey so far has been incredible. Her first ever competition was in the 1992 Quebec Metropolitan, where her talent earned her the first position. The following year, she competed in the IFBB Quebec Provincial in the heavyweight category. She came first in her category and overall. Her winning streak motivated her to participate in more competitions, where she continued to prove herself worthy of the accolades. She participated in the 1995 IFBB Canada Cup, where she came fourth. She also participated in several other competitions the following year and performed remarkably well. Diana was active between 1997 and 2004 and performed well in all her outings. One could hardly pinpoint a tournament where she did not deliver. In 1998, she took part in the Jana Tana Classic Tournament and came third. She has also participated in the IFBB Miss International and Miss Olympia Games. Her life is a conglomeration of one competition to another all of which she doesn't regret. 
Diana is now retired and lives in Wilton Manors. Number 1. Wendy Lindquist started as a gymnast and dancer, but became a world-class bodybuilder and fitness model. She is famous for appearing in several strongwoman events and exceeding expectations. She was born in British Columbia on May 16, 1979, and began her bodybuilding training in 2001. Her hunger to compete in the sport motivated her to participate nationally in 2003. She has lived most of her life receiving awards for excellent performance. She was 13th in the CPA Powerlifting National 63 kilograms Open Unequipped. In 2016, she won a fifth place in the North American Pole Dance Championship. She was also the seventh place holder in that competition in 2017. Aside from bodybuilding, she's a part-time actress and featured in the 2016 movie Those Arms Though. She is also a fitness coach and personal trainer in British Columbia. She stands at 5'3 and has a body weight of 128 pounds. Which of these women would you love to meet in person? Let us know in the comments section. We might put words across to them and get them to visit you. See you soon!